in the morning this wcw edition it's a nice day cool day when we are going to discuss things that matter we are in the discussion of the day and today we are going to discuss things depression we are asking in our social media platforms I'm everywhere e depression recently you've seen men committing suicide men are depressed there are people the rate at which men have ulcers Nowadays, according to experts, it's alarming. So we're asking if dems, madam, like was Chana, wana changia, kwa depression ya wanaume, or they are helping. Are they helping? Are girls the solution or the problems to women's, or oh, to men's depression? My name is Sankara Kayesu, and I'm joined by specialists today. I say specialists, not just any other people. I'm joined by two people. One is a criminologist, and the other is a psychological counselor. And uh, criminologist ni mtu wameka hapa, hamekuja hapa for very long, like she is like a, a a, a, a resident panelist, but today she's so different. She's called Rose Halai. Rose, um, I know how to pronounce Halai. Rose Halai is here. Apart from Rose Halai, we have Maureen. Maureen is a psychological counselor. Rose Halai, owner, is a criminologist. How are you guys? We are fine. Thank I'm you. happy Thank you. to host you here today, and I'm happy that our panelists composed of psychological counselors who are also ladies. Mm -hmm. So you are in the best place to help us demystify this. Uh, Rose, introduce yourself for those who are seeing you for the first time, maybe. Uh, a very delightful morning to all of you. My name is Ouna Halai. I'm an alumni of One Green Entrepreneurial University, Karatina University. I am an entrepreneur a detective and a political enthusiast. Okay. Yeah. So we should not call you criminologist. We should Criminolo call you a detective. De criminologist is, is outdated. I mean, <laughs> so backward. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, welcome to 854 once again, and Happy New Year. This is your first time this year here. Yeah, yeah and then we have Thank Maureen. You. Maureen, how are you? I'm very fine. You are Maureen Gasheru. Gasheru. Yes, yes. You're welcome to 854. You can introduce <laughs> yourself, what you do, and what maybe you know how to do best. Okay, thank you very much. Yes. I'm so happy to be back here again. My name is Maureen Gasheru. I am a counseling psychologist in my fifth year of practice now an alumna of the University of Nairobi. And I've been dealing with people who are struggling with addictions, different addictions. I also love working with families and the youth. And I can say <laughs> my job is like my life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's literally what I, I've, I'm living for. Do you have an right organization now. you run or you work for an organization? I'm currently running my own business. Oh, OK. Yeah. So you have uh, some movies somewhere people can come for counseling? Yes, I do. Do men come also for counseling? Yes, they do. Uh, compared to when you started and now, mm -hmm. are they increasing or decreasing? Yes, they, they've been increasing in numbers. Mm. And they're also opening up more, mm. you know. Kitambo, you, I, I used to notice a lot of resistance whenever I, I could work with men, especially in rehab centers. But nowadays it's like there is a lot of awareness out here on social media, on TV, like right now we are creating awareness mm -hmm. and people have started internalizing it mm. slowly by slowly. So yeah. that, that, that is enough evidence apart from what research says that men are depressed out here. Yes. So we are course. going to see if men, you are going to tell us, yeah. maybe based on experience because you have such cases, if women or if ladies uh, contribute to this. But let's hear from detective if she can detect whether <laughs> ladies are involved <laughs> in this or not. Now that she's also a lady and she's a detective. Yeah. Can you start by talking professionally, not as a lady? If ladies are, are <laughs> changering, mm -hmm. are contributing yeah. to men's depression. Uh, either way, on the dark side and the, on the bright side. Mm -hmm. yeah, ladies, actually contributing to men's depression um, in the fact that you find ladies have a lot of demand and they bring this attitude of you know you're supposed to be a man you're supposed to act like it you're supposed to protect and provide mm -hmm. they expect so much of them both financially sexually and you know in all other you know dynamics of life like a lady okay if you're a man and you have a girlfriend or a wife uh, 
looks like the wife is so dependent on you. Mm -hmm. uh, now the burden of it is what causes uh, men's depression, among other things. Mm -hmm. On the brighter side, you find that uh, having a woman by your side as a man, this woman is your safe space. This woman is your support system. This woman is your cheerleader. This one person who is like contributes in, in your life in terms of thanking you, appreciating you, cheering you up when you have done something positive. They're always there for you, they and in that, that way, they, they 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 reduce you, your stress, your depression, and yeah. Mm. Are you, have you been out of Kenya recently? Because you, <laughs> you are not talking like uh, you are, you mean Kenyan ladies. Kenyan ladies. Are you we, saying we Kenyan, Kenyan ladies, ladies are by you cheering you, supporting you? <laughs> hey. uh, seriously, Rose. They are your okay. peace. Your woman is your peace. Uh, let's get back. Mm -hmm. Let's come out of detection, Kidogo. Mm -hmm. We get back to counseling. Mm -hmm. Do you think yeah. she's right? Yeah, of course she's right. You mean... Kenyan girls cheer their boyfriends and support them. Yes, very Some much. Some of them, they actually. There's this lady on YouTube, Maureen. Mm -hmm. I'm Maureen Nani. Maureen, someone. She loves speaking in Kikuyu a lot. Mm -hmm. She does a YouTube in Kikuyu, mm -hmm. and she. I love how she treats her boyfriend. Mm. <laughs> it's just something I personally don't think Give I can do it. I mean, you'll hear her announcing about the boy, the birthday for her boyfriend and, and maybe she's taking us to where she's going to shop and what am I going to buy him and it's such a big deal and I don't know, it's, it's, it's yeah, something like that. As in, it's not something I think I can do personally, mm -hmm. <laughs> based on personal you are experience. You getting to my point now. <laughs> the girls who do that are yeah. not even 1%. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Not even one percent. I don't know. Just but I, I know a few percent. girls who do that. Oh, they can be ten percent. They, they can be ten. Then where where are the rest <laughs> of the ninety percent? Even if you work with your ten percent, <laughs> where are the ninety percent? Have the will, but not have the capacity. So if we count those who are willing, mm. we could be even sixty percent out of hundred. Or mm. some of yeah. them have been, you know. I think oh. only a few percent of girls yeah. are so hard to deal with, and you know, cannot do some <laughs> stuff. They have. Masculinity which is bad. Yes. And actually they are so much proud of that. Like what you kunja on a junior quarto a baya yan. It's like crime is bad. Your profession <laughs> crime to do crime is bad. Is bad mm -hmm. eh? But you know it also oh. comes from past but experiences. Crime is inherent also. Oh, yeah. it's bad, but it's inherent. It's yeah. inside. Like in a society, or even in this space right here, mm. right now, there's criminality going on. Yes. Like, you cannot tell because you cannot detect. Mm. But that doesn't mean there's no motivated criminal here. Okay. Yeah. The, the environment always have sufficient supply okay. of a, an offender. Eh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, someone who is actually motivated to commit crime. Let's get to the man now. I know from your experience and practice, maybe you've detected where crime has happened, maybe a man has committed suicide, mm -hmm. or maybe a man has committed homicide, mm -hmm. killed somebody, or some mm -hmm. things like that. Mm -hmm. All those are coming out of man's depression. Mm -hmm. I want you to maybe tell me, from your personal experience, or from your professional experience, why you think men are depressed. Mm -hmm. Before we zero into ladies, before we zero into ladies being the cost, the cause or the prevention, why do you think men are getting more and more depressed of late? Uh, lately, okay, even though women are more prevalent to depression, men's numbers to, of depression cases have also increased. Yeah, because of a number of reasons. I might say one of them is the societal expectation. What we expect from an ideal man mm -hmm. yeah. is putting so much pressure <coughs> on the man or on the boy child. Number one, over stress. expectation. Yeah, mm -hmm. over expectation. From? From society, everyone else. Oh. Like your mom is looking up to you. Yeah. Your mom is, is wondering, how the fuck are you 35 years old and you don't have a wife? You know, uh, 
your grandma uko home anataka siju saizi saizi time ya kupanda anataka mm. mahindi mm. expecting you to buy seedlings mm. for planting and stuff your little bro want to yeah, go to school yeah your little little bro thinks you have money mm. and they are borrowing you pocket money and you don't have like your girlfriend so is also no problem cares. according to you is over expectation over expectation and i think you stop there or do you have another point yes yes apart from over expectation mm. um as a man you also give yourself some pressure pressure to be to be the best man mm-hmm. you pressure yourself actually like i'm supposed to be like like this no by now i'm supposed to be the pressure you give yourself as okay. a person okay. not being uh, allowing yourself to be easy and you know let things sometimes flow the way they were meant to flow being hard on yourself so maybe you uh, i can summarize your points to over expectation from the society mm-hmm. and over expectation from self yeah from self yes, yes. okay would you give us from your practice mm-hmm. what you have found to be the major problem which brings this depression in men this depression in men well i would say the <laughs> the kind of women that we are raising in the society is the main problem <laughs> It's a problem. <laughs> I think women are a big deal when it comes to to men. Yeah. Uh the other day I was listening to David Ogot mm. in an interview about addiction and he was saying how his addiction developed. It developed um from him wanting to gain the courage to approach girls mm. and to have many girls. Something something as simple as that. Yes. He got depression from rejection not rejection it's, i think it's more of wanting to fit in with his you know peers had had he tried like yeah. approaching women and they declined or yes. She, oh yes oh so it's rejection as yeah. una put yeah. it it's rejection and also peer influence because your friends are wondering why don't you have girls you know as we have them what do what's you going mean girls men <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean girls like many of them why not yeah, one girl yeah I, i think the well, friends had men i i don't have proof to this but the information that is out there is that men are supposed to have many girls yes seriously yes yes <laughs> no see what i say i think it's not such a big deal when a man cheats yes. but if a woman dares to cheat yes. then she will be labeled all sorts of names so mm-hmm. the men you have cancelled yeah. let's take uh, recent three without mentioning their names what were the causes of their depression what was their problems wow okay i will not talk about my clients that that is something i, I yes, usually I don't yes i know do. i know it's ethical and yes. ethical yes yes mm-hmm. but i would say something i've noticed so much is family you find that someone has family issues maybe you have an narcissistic mother and you find that this is not something that society has acknowledged that your mother might actually be toxic you know the way she's saying your mom is expecting you to be married i don't know she's expecting you to bring something home she doesn't even care whether you have a job or not she mm. doesn't care whether you you need you have your own life you know mm. the other thing is addiction and addiction is caused by sasa kama hiyo story ya david ogot unaona the the causes was chana wamechangia you want to gain the courage to go and approach women mm. you know to to misbehave or to, to be i don't know brave mm. to have mm. this grandiosity mm-hmm. you know all the, the all that the glory of being a mom yes think of the men the even moms yeah. are, are women so mm. i don't know why men's problem just circulating <laughs> around women. women i don't know <laughs> don't know how we can help yeah. this but if you are exactly. watching us and you are struggling with addiction immediately after this faith so is coming up with addiction anti addiction coach like a person who teaches people to move away from addiction be it alcohol addiction be it sexual addiction and all that so it's good if you're watching this show that we have a solution for you immediately after this and don't worry you also have a psychologist in set morin here she will help you she will help us maybe to know how we will deal with addictions so let's get back to 
to women. Yeah. Let's leave men kidogo <laughs> to a pack because they are the depressed people. Yes. And get back to the problem. Mm -hmm. The problem is now these pressures mm -hmm. from women all over. Why can't women learn to depend on themselves other than push, putting pressure mm -hmm. on people's sons? Mm -hmm. Why can't you girls depend on yourself? What's your well, problem? <laughs> I think it's more of upbringing. You know, when growing up, if you've noticed that the women around you depend on the men, you know, you also grow up with the same mindset. And then you come to this time and age in social media, you're seeing women come on Instagram, Saizu King, yeah. You see Akina Chinese Kiki, mm -hmm. you know, they have this rich men and mm. they're just showing off their wealth and how they are traveling and everything. And you think that, ah, Siniki Pata Mzungu can take me to all these places. Kwanini ni shineni? Shinandile na kina oche muku. Yeah. And I can just get a Mzungu and Omoka. There's know? a joke I used to listen to when I was young when a teacher asked a boy, what would you like to be? Yeah. When you grow up and the boy said I would like to be a pilot. Why? Because it pays well. Mm -hmm. You fly to different countries, you interact with so many people, you build so many networks. It's yeah. good. So the lady was and um, the lady, the desk mate was asked, who would you like to be when you grow up? Mm. She said, <laughs> Pilot's wife. <laughs> I'd like to be pilot's wow. wife. Yeah, uh, that was. And you said that, that was so innocent of her. Yeah, <laughs> innocent. But now, yeah. the problem is. Uh, the empowered woman, like now we are saying what a man can do, a woman can do better. Yeah. But now they are like now putting pressure on men for their dependence. Mm. Yeah, I know they will be up in arms saying it's not so, it's not the case. But the research says, because I did research even before I came here, most of men's problem mm. are women related. Yes. So mm. I don't know how we are helping this. I but, don't know. But is it really our fault? <laughs> Whose fault is it? At some point I think it is the fault of men. Because mm -hmm. uh, apart from women being a burden to men, hence causing their depression, also women not being a burden yeah. is causing them depression. Because actually uh, in the era that you are living, most ladies are empowered. Mm. Uh, most ladies are actually doing life on their own. Most ladies have capacity to take care of themselves and even their boyfriend or their mm -hmm. husbands. No, no. And that has caused stress to the boy child because they sure? think their glory is yeah. now being taken away. And <laughs> <laughs> now claiming it causes them depression. Like it. So mm. we depending on them and we depending on ourselves is actually causing them depression. So who is the problem? Your point, they, they, is, they the either problem. Way, your point is either way they will either be depressed. Either way they, they will be they depressed. <laughs> ah, brother, brother. Sure. Like if you are my girlfriend, for example, mm -hmm. and then you are supporting me mm -hmm. or supporting yourself so that you won't need my support, mm -hmm. much of my financial support, mm -hmm. won't I be a happy man? I will use the I money expect, I have I to further to my education, happy. to mm. further my kujibamba, to make myself mm, I happy. That's and what I that. expect from you. But then what is the realist? You, you becoming stressed and depressed because you think now me having my own money, I am not loyal, you think I'm out here doing nasty stuff because I have money, mm. you think I'm not coming to the house late because I have money, you think now the money has bring kiburi. Uh, I, think, I think if you also have you money, just find a way to, to make yourself depressed. Me, I, I don't understand. What <laughs> I have a doing. man, I have a, a man friend who doesn't have a job right now. Mm -hmm. So it is the lady taking care of the bills. voice. <laughs> Where is your tapumua? Uraza to kupumua. Oh, umekula skuma yangu, eh? Na nyuma yangu na pumua. Wow, and you see that is where culture comes in. Yes. Because when you go back to your tribe, maybe women in your tribe mm. are taught that mm. the man is supposed to be the provider, the breadwinner of the family. Yes. You see, maybe at our to Akitambo traditionally, how did um, parents choose a husband for for their daughter? Mm. See, they used to look at the wealth, mm. how hardworking is this yes, man? Yes. Nini vitu kama hizo. So mm. those are things that are still in us, and okay. it's up to us to like. I think it to, to end go. soon because yeah. now there is gender equality. 
or is it set to end anytime soon so that people will yeah. just be depending on their own on yeah <laughs> you know because i had a i had a, a, a typical good family mm. the people i stayed with it was my uncle and their wife they were both teachers and uh, i loved how they planned their finances the man used his money mm. to develop that home and to invest. He would use his money to build maybe some rentals at the near shopping center yeah. to build the house, home, and all that. And the lady used to use her money to buy food in the house and to pay fee. Mm -hmm. they, every salary time they would sit down and write how they are going to spend their money. And it was perfect family. I'm very sorry that they, they rested. Oh. Both of them rested, okay. but Sorry I loved that. I oh. loved how they were coordinating their mm. finances. But now, the typical Kenyan lady has a mentality of my money is my money, your money is it's our, our money. money. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> I don't know how this can end. How can you end this criminologically? How can you end this psychologically? <laughs> teach girls, teach girls. Uh, criminologically. These ladies who are saying that my money is my money and your money is our money, those are criminals and in fact, if you find them somewhere, ask me to come and arrest them. <laughs> <laughs> you're criminals. They are an epitome of injustice, actually mm -hmm. financial injustice. You know, mm. there's, no, there's no fairness when my money is my money and your money is our money. Yes. Uh, I would like them actually to emulate... Um, the, the, the example you have given of yes. your late uncle and auntie, yes. the way they used to coordinate, I mm -hmm. think that should be the ideal. And I'm glad that actually we are moving towards uh, the, the end of gender roles and gender expectations and any, and everyone out there is trying to, you know, do something for their own. There's glory in being independent. And I'm happy that also the boy child is embracing the fact that what they can do, a woman can do. and a union of marriage or you know uh friendship should be should be should have mutuality uh, uh, in um, terms of you know financial nini everyone should it's it's a it's a partnership in fact that is why we are here that yeah. was the topic of the day mm -hmm. ladies for men psychologically yeah. help ladies help ladies maureen know how they can support men in this their time of trouble mm. it's their time of trouble mm. they are committing suicide in their numbers how can ladies help them now well for me i always advocate for self-help mm -hmm. seek help yourself first because when you find that you depend on this person so much for finances for emotional support i will imagine Asubu kitoka kwa nyumba ni nakuomba pesa ya lunch, mm. siji sapa, mm. siji niliona dress wapi Ile, na tuko ni baile. Ile, unatuwacha aje hapa. <laughs> hey. Imagine. <laughs> <laughs> and then ukikata, I have my anger outburst. Mm. Oh, siji, I'll leave you. Yes. Siji, you don't even do what. You are not man enough. Why, why won't you commit suicide? If this is the order of the day. Mm -hmm. So, ladies need to invest in therapy. If you feel like uh, you, you know, all the time you're always emotional around your man. There's no time when you ever support them. Yes. All the time, whenever they try to express themselves, ah, you know, yeah. that overgeneralizing. So ladies should invest in their mental health. Mm. And, and then from there, they will be able to support their men more. Yeah, so uh, because you, you say there is a problem with over expectation, so I think your point is that they should reduce their expectation so that they mm. depend on themselves. Yes. It, it, can it work so, Ona? Can ladies depend on themselves in this Kenya? Can you convince them that they can actually do without men's financial help? They can actually do without one thing I have uh, always told myself and told the people around me mm. is that uh, you have to love yourself enough mm. as a person. Yes. You have to do life as an individual, mm. as a person. Mm. This will help when this other person is not there, life can still mm. move on. Go on. Yeah. Suppose you are a dependent wife. Mm. What uh, happens when your partner is no more God forbid? Mm. What happens mm. when you can literally do nothing and your life is entirely dependent on them? 
Mm. This is where you find someone collapsing, someone dying because the other has died because your life is linked to that other person. Sankara, a good forbid, when you, your brother dies right now and you, you collapse and die, what does it mean? It speaks a lot. It means you cannot do your life alone without them. That's why when you hear John is no more, you feel as if you mm. cannot do it. Mm. You can let to ha you're not handle it. Mm. But if you love yourself enough and you know you are capacitated as a person to live your life, then yes. you can be able to even move on when something happens. Yes, yes. Yeah. We talked to a girl, Maureen, mm. a girl whose boyfriend is now depressed, not talking, just they are sad not even eating properly, and uh, they are seeing that man there, very depressed. What can such a girl do? Well, I would say try to practice empathy. Because I think most of us women try to be very self-absorbed. We always like to see ourselves as, as the victims all the time, you know? But the minute you just try to step out of that and just be there for the other human being, mm. you know? Try to reason out with them. Maybe it's something you can solve together. Pengina mepoteza a job and you guys can come up with a project and, and become rich, you know? You can actually help him out mm. in solving his problems, mm. you know? You can ask him to get out of his comfort zone. Maybe you can start going to church with him. Mm. Just something, introducing him to new ideas mm. so that he starts healing mm. mentally. And also the last resolve is seeking professional help mm. because it really helps. Oh, professional help. Yes. It's not uh, like African is not used to seeking professional help. I don't know why, mm. but it's not easy for a man to just get out um, and go to a psychological counselor like yeah. you for mm. an advice. Is this also cultural or something? Yes, it's, it's very cultural. Uh, You've never had even Kevin Hart, as in even African Americans joke about it, mm. you know? It's, it's not African at all. Africans have not exactly embraced therapy just yet. Mm. They think it's a joke. Why should I pay to come and talk to you when I can talk to my wife, mm. you know? <laughs> or, my or, or, your friend. friend. or they can think <laughs> out their solutions alone. Yes. Because some people also don't like sharing their problems. Yes. Yes. Especially men. 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 Especially yeah. men. Mm. Yeah. Mm. It's true. Yeah. Girls yeah. can say their problems are a karaka kabisa to yeah. anybody. And I think that's why even uh, they have diagnosed that more ladies are actually depressed. Than men. Mm. It could be even more men are depressed than women, only mm. that the, the diagnosis women is not see. there because they have not shared. So uh, we will we'll not count the numbers if they don't share. Okay. But because women share more, so their diagnosis has been recorded more than mm. men. It could be true, yeah. Marina. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And then the other issue is toxic masculinity. <laughs> you know? What's Everyone. that? <laughs> Men thinking that the expectations that they are all in all exactly. Mm. Yeah. Let's see a, a few comments here on social media platforms, and we are starting with Sevia Maestro Mula. He says, "Men love peace." Okay, let me read for you our question first. Our question, Saseni J. Madam, wana changia ama wana prevent kwa i depression ya wana ume. Do women? instigate or um, like do women contribute to men's depression or they prevent or they help prevent it our solution here our answer here randomly is that they contribute to it more than they help prevent it mm -hmm. so Xavier says men love peace if your lady can't provide that ex that expect to fall into depression in, in any form the link up now your psychologist Maureen catching you live from home, Roy Sambu. Eh? See where Ukusama Kamu No, I, I believe he, he means for, for professional health. Oh, oh, okay. We left Kira Vigina. Okay, okay, so. <laughs> so, <laughs> so <laughs> you, Jam, oh, you are going to give your social media handles, yes. or maybe yeah. number if possible. Yes. There is Rama, Rama Mfunga, and I say, Digo Gang from County 001, Mitini. Madam, Ujangia, this guy comes from Rift Valley, maybe. <laughs> I think he meant Changia. Uchangia sana cost unampea chenye anataka na kujitolea kwa hali na mali lakini haoni 
huwa ni unajichangia una, una mwenyewe uh, like ukipata dem umepata visa ya kusumbuliwa eh hey, hey. oh maybe <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe. There's Denis Otieno says most wana changia sana, mm -hmm. like mna changia. You sacrifice a lot, but then you no, know, these are men talking. Yeah. I've only read comments of men. Sijapata ya ya dem, some appear ya dem. But Otieno, Denis anasema most wana changia sana. You sacrifice a lot, but then they don't appreciate. Tuned in from Embu. I'm happy that the whole country is tuned in to us. There's Samuel. Another man, Tonisha says, poor sana and tuned in from Webuye and this gender in a tutesa sana sana. Hadi atuoni ju, uh, atuoni ju ya depression na stress atuendi mbinguni. Eish, <laughs> haki uye uye. <laughs> and then there is Meresaya Wolf. Eh, wana kadema, poleni, haki <laughs> But see, what you prevent? Yeah, like who them? She looks so motherly. She looks so caring, and I, and I appreciate kuwa you. We changia. You changia, but yeah. there are few who prevent yeah. like one as idea. Yeah. Yes. So I think ladies should take this show very seriously yeah. to see how maybe they can help. There is somebody called Mary Mar Ryan. Anasema na mtu akiona anapewa depression kwa nini asiondoke? Asiondoke huyo dem na move on na maisha yake. Mary pia wataki kuondokewa. Hey, pia wataki kuachwa. <laughs> Can you advise, advise men so like kama mtu anakupea depression umwache? Well, yes. Mm. Talk you think, also run for safety. Eh, I mean. eh, <laughs> Do eh, if you don't have the skills yes. to deal with this person. Eh, mm -hmm. See, they they only doing more damage. Okay. You. Yeah, yeah. They so you support me. Peaceful people. Yeah. This one, Jiru Skido says hundred. I mean, I hundred. Mara one, two, three, four, five. Hundred, 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 hundred percent. One a changia. But our wezi jua, cause they say at yolo you live once. See, you live once. Na pesa ya kusi pesa ya mtu. So wana pressure Charlie sector ya do. Ah, my itaji it is. Alafu bado haoni. Kumana umana wake. Bado ako na ma, ma, ma babs, ma bab, oh, ako na wababaz, mm -hmm. na machali. Hata like kude manasema, una pressure mtu, akupe pesa, na bado uko na mababaz pia wako mm -hmm. mahali. Eh, so ini mbaya. Ini mbaya. Ini mbaya. Eh, eh, Jemuke anasema they are the industry themselves of manufacturing depression. <laughs> eh, <laughs> manufacture depression for men. There's Richie Koigi and Asema wana changia vibaya sana. Belittling uh, of expectation ETC. Hakuna mwenye na enda saidi ya dem leo. Hata badem wenzao wana sema. Okay, blemo gujiri anasema a lot. They demand more. Then there's a career lukoriti wanamaswa. They say they are the depression themselves. <laughs> like they don't cause depression, they are the depression. <laughs> Alafu kuna Ibrahim haemba wasiki anasema woi daughters of Joseph and ndiyo wana ndiyo chanzo chao. Mm -hmm. Naenda ku mkutano ya earthquake nirudi baadaye eh wewe na sasa umepiga hapa na earthquake tuko na depression na wewe pia unaleta earthquake nataka imagine i was thinking the same wewe una think nini na hujatuambia the cg anasema what five for some are the cause but some are just fine hmm. i agree with this lady oh this man here anasema there are ladies who are now the depression removers. Mm. Yes. Like nini ya mkai wenye wanaza cause depression. Nama mnakaa malaika hapa na pia. Ha? 
Do you think you also cause depression? Like yeah, two of you? You know you wouldn't, you know, exactly. Mm. Mm. I mean, I know I could just ask you. detective. <laughs> you need to be detected. <laughs> no. I saw that. 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 I saw I don't know what sugar is. But uh, whatever it is, we won't join you because I, I think it's a bad mm. thing. But I'm not also comprehend what it is. And then you are top fan. <laughs> <laughs> You're another depression to the society. <laughs> There's somebody called Mento Gaddafi on a summer on a Changia Sana Tena Sana. Alafu Kuna Jama and I to a kuna jamaa anaitwa DJ Mas anasema wanachangia tena sana the spara wa whites wanasema kitu naweza sema huwa wanachangia straight over from Rwai like kila mtu ana sapa anasema mnachangia mm -hmm. uh, somebody says Salim says relationship ya siku hizi imekuwa njia moja ya kuomoka kwa madem <laughs> aya ye kuomoka the skill wanasema they Wanatumia lugha mbaya the F word contribute up to 60% ya depression. Alafu the spara ya wetu nasema ni aje na kuona nasikia ngoma hii ewe ya mechangia ngoma. Ziko mingi ya tuwezi maliza sayi. But all in all, meona kwa what people are saying, 90% is that ladies wanachangia. So I don't know way forward because now we have the problem as we finish. What is the way forward? Oona halai. Are we going to continue dying as men because you guys are causing depression? Mm -hmm. Is there any way you can help us recover from depression? Um, from the responses that you have just read, I'm um, actually very glad that men has rea have realized what the problem is. That is one path to finding the solution. Mm. If they have realized that actually ladies or women are the one contributing to their depression, mm. then the best way possible is to, you know, avoid uh, ladies who are causing them depression. Toxic like, ladies. Yeah, toxic mm. ladies. They should find themselves people who are peaceful and most importantly, before signing up into a relationship or a situation where someone is taking money from you and they're not actually your girlfriend or they're not loyal, they are in, they have infidelity with them, nini, nini, and you don't like it, or it's one of the reasons why you becoming depression, then uh, before getting into such a sort of uh, partnership or agreement, you need to uh, put things down and make them as clear as you want them to be. Thank you. Before getting there, I'll and take also that. To I'll take that as your closing remark. Or you have a closing remark uh, to the ladies. Yes. Yeah, uh, beauty won't buy anything. Mm -hmm. So try as much as possible to also be important in a in a relationship setup. Mm -hmm. Bring something on the table mm -hmm. and be peaceful. Mm -hmm. Very very peaceful. Men like peaceful ladies. Don't talk too much. Usiwajaza ya kili na mambo mingi. Because I know some ladies can actually jaza your brain. By mm -hmm. the time you gain momentum, Sankara, you start your year in July. <laughs> so please, <laughs> ladies, be peaceful. Be good girlfriends. Doesn't cost you anything. Uh, be independent. Thank you. Yeah, be, be open-minded and be clear with your intentions when you get yourself close to someone's son. They also need peace and they need uh, you being peaceful and supporting them. Thank you very much, Rowan. Yeah, thank you. Tell us your closing remarks, Maureen. Thank you. So, for me, I'd just like to emphasize to men that it's, it's okay not, not to be okay. Mm -hmm. It's okay to seek help. Or for men. Yes. Mm -hmm. And... <coughs> There's this uh, podcast I love listening to, Mentor Kenya. I'm sure you guys know about it. And it, it's a very good initiative that Mentor, Ke Mentor Kenya have mm -hmm. because they are st telling the society that men also have problems and it's okay to talk about them, that you don't have to be so masculine, you know, for you to prove that you're a man, you know. And men should embrace these things more because um, caring, sharing is caring. The more you share your burdens, the more it becomes lighter and you're able to live your life more healthily.
Thank you. Yes. You've talked like a real professional. In fact, <laughs> both of you. She's yeah. talked like a detective. You've talked like a psychological <laughs> counselor. So, <laughs> make this clear. Yeah. Madam, try depending on yourself. People are crying out here. People are crying out here that most depression of men killing themselves, worrying themselves to answers to so many things are coming from you. See, you can man up. Oh, you can lady up because you are ladies. <laughs> you can lady up so that maybe you see how you can be solutions, not problems. But to my fellow men, know when to stay and when to let go so that you don't have to die because of somebody's daughter. I'm not inciting you. I'm only saying that your life also matters not only to that lady, but to your mom, to your children, future or present children, to your sisters, to everybody. So let not depression take you and suicide. It's the last, it is not even an option. There are so many options. My last advice to you is that it's high time we know how to seek psychological or professional help from professional psychologists like Maureen here and the lady who is coming after me with Faith Mutsoli. This has been why in the morning and this is the segment that is of the, um, we call it discussion of the day. I hope you've been helped and thank you for making it here. It's not in vain somebody has been helped. So thank you for coming. If we invite again, come again and again to Saidiye our Wanaume. Yeah, and <laughs> thank I'd you. also like to share my social media. Yes, okay, social media handles. Yes. Maybe somebody wants to get you. Yes, so I call myself Maureen Gashero on all platforms, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Follow me. I talk a lot about mental health. It's my passion. And we can always have very lively conversations about the real things that are actually happening in our society. Okay, yeah. let's leave That's it all. there.